Games are ranked by PlayScore, a standard rating that averages gamer reviews and critic reviews. Opening our list of the top 10 Oculus Rift games is Star Trek Bridge Crew. Set in an alternate reality between 2009 Star Trek, lead the USS Aegis in a quest to find a new homeworld for the Vulcans after their planet's destruction. Voyage into the final frontier with your hearty crew of aliens, humans, and much more. Ubisoft's virtual reality game takes you to the vastness of space. With your VR gear at the ready, lead your crew and guide them by any means necessary via co-op mode. Communicate with your friends and let them help accompany you through thick and thin. Lead somebody to battle and take down an enemy fleet or let them do engine repairs. Choice is yours, Captain. Multiplayer experience aside, players can go solo. Instead of sitting under the captain's chair all the time, you can move from one seat to another to do individual tasks. Seems like a chore, but once you get the hang of it, it gets more immersive. Its only weak feature is its lack of exploration. With Oculus's hardware features and a VR-ready PC, experience the most decent Star Trek game yet. It has a play score of a 7.75. Ninth place goes to Sublevel Zero. The Oculus was the stepping stone for VR technology, and there have been many games who tried to prove that it's the next big thing. Those who fail or succeed are otherwise given a term called tech demos. Some supersede the others, while other games do not. Sublevel Zero is a bit of both. Sig Trap Games' shooter takes you to a futuristic world of polygonal proportions. With the taglines Fly, Fight, Survive, this game takes zero gravity shooters and roguelike to the virtual reality platforms. Your only perspective is inside the cockpit. Shift those gears and strap those seatbelts because you're in for the ride of your life. Using Oculus Gears, battle your way through a procedurally generated world. Customize your ship and let it take over each level, but once your ship fails, you start all over again. It's a play score of a 7.76. Coming in at number 8 is Elite Dangerous. This is a massive multiplayer space exploration game. If No Man's Sky was perfected, it could have been as mesmerizing as this game. With content so large and a galaxy to play with, Frontier Development's open-ended space exploration game takes you to the cosmos and beyond. This is the fourth Elite game of the series since 1995. Combining elements of trading, crafting, exploration, and fighting, roam around the Milky Way galaxy by buying and selling stuff. It's not always that easy though, the world of smuggling is met with risks. Fend off enemies by blowing their ships up. Upgrade your starship and be a force to be reckoned with. With Oculus, it's as immersive as ever. Dive into uncharted star systems, find a faction, and dazzle in its deep trading mechanics. The game adapts to your idea of an adventure. You can even witness the game's first extraterrestrial entity at a certain point in the game. No spoilers! Voyage through the great beyond and get ready to encounter foreign entities, engage in space battles, and take virtual reality to its full potential. It has a play score of a 7.87. 7 spot goes to Red Out Enhanced Edition. Now this one is a zero-gravity racing game that pays tribute to the classics like F-Zero, Wipeout, Roll Cage, and P.O.D. Put your futuristic pedal to the metal and feel the hyperkinetic blaze of pulsating colors and vertigo-inducing action. According to the devs, it's as uncompromising, fast, tough, and satisfying like its inspirations. Now, the game's movements are heavily physics-based. Each slope, turn, crash, and curve are powered by the Unreal Engine 4. By donning your Oculus gear, feel the rush by every light particle coming at you every second. Step into its online multiplayer and race against 12 people from all around the world or make your own adventure in its career mode. With over 25 tracks, step into a post-apocalyptic Earth where neon lights are finally a thing. But it wouldn't be a racing game without an upbeat and adaptive soundtrack to please your ears while playing. According to the developers, it's the fastest game ever made. Feel the vibrations, the buildings, and landscapes flying. Especially when you're on the VR. It has a play score of an 8.14. 
At number 6 is Arizona Sunshine. Survive in a post-apocalyptic Arizona filled with bloodthirsty undeads. Find solace as you receive a distress call from a radio. But before you act on it, arm yourself in its wide range of weapons. Be a badass zombie killer in this virtual reality game that puts your deepest zombie fantasies in the forefront. With your Oculus gear in place, jump in its single-player campaign and use its movement-based weapon tracking to shoot these vile creatures to their doom. Explore its sun-soaked world by looting items and experience the thrill of the infestation like never before. Its motion tracking is as real as it gets. If you feel lonely, better grab a friend in its co-op mode. But be careful because the enemy threat goes bigger when two warm brains stick together. With a powerful PC, Arizona Sunshine is among the finest VR games released to date. Although the seemingly questionable pricing may be a problem to most players, still just check it out. It has a play score of an 8.15. And we're down to number 5 with Audio Shield. Yes, rhythm games are still a thing. And with virtual reality making a name for itself in the past few years, it's bound to get better. Combining the Oculus's motion tracking with the cliché of rhythm games, defend yourself from incoming orbs by blocking them out of your path with your shield. It adapts to your musical library and reads any song file. It even picks something from your library as a song of the day. It doesn't really offer much content, unlike the other games on the list, but it serves as a form of tech demo for the possibilities of more rhythm-related VR games. It uses an advanced version of AudioSurf that accurately syncs music from your collection and it also has streaming from YouTube. It's a totally enjoyable game if you're too lazy to go to your best friend's party on a Friday night. Just pick up those controllers and feel the beat with a play score of an 8.51. Fourth place goes to The Lab. This one is a charming VR experience set in the Aperture Science Laboratories. Travel from pocket universe to pocket universe and interact with its various virtual environments. Explore eight mini-games that range from epic to plain bizarre. Defend castles with your archery skills, visit exotic locales, repair robots, examine the beauty of the human body, or destroy things with a giant slingshot. It's not exactly loaded with content, but it does offer a fun introduction to the world of virtual reality. It has a play score of an 8.54. Lucky number 3 goes to Thumper! The VR won't be running out of rhythm games anytime soon. No matter how silly and cute they are, they always seem to work. Drool's unique take on the rhythm genre takes it to a whole new level. Mixing together violence and music, guide a lowly space beetle in a void of neon-colored spaceways. Using the Oculus gear, make your way through a gauntlet of horrific yet beautiful levels filled with blinking lights and a reverberating beat. Feel the rush of rhythm violence and defeat ominous boss fights in its unique levels. This game won so many awards and received universal acclaim due to its unique gameplay, a darker atmosphere compared to most rhythm games, and of course, the awesome soundtrack. Playing the game on Oculus is optional unless you want to put yourself in its deep, flashy atmosphere. But compared to most rhythm games, Thumper is a completely different beast when played on the VR. It has a play score of an 8.55. And second place goes to Keep Talking and Nobody Explodes. Virtual reality is a good playground for fun party games. This one takes it to the extreme. Some say it ruins friendships. Others say it strengthens bonds or enhances communication. But then again, how can someone do that when they need to keep talking? The game's main premise is simple. One player is trapped in a room with a randomly generated time bomb. The other players are in a separate room with a manual necessary to defuse it. But here's the crazy thing, they can't see the bomb! Of course, communication is key. Anyone can play this game and it's not always necessary to play it on the VR. But the feeling of sweat and tension from the other voice channel makes it for a very thrilling experience. The game receives positive acclaim due to its enjoyable social experience. It has a play score of an 8.67. And the best Oculus Rift game so far is Dirt Rally. A racing game topping Oculus list? Wow! Buckle your seatbelts as you take a drive on the world's most unforgiving terrain. Ride along rain-dip valleys, snow-capped hills, and sandy deserts, but don't let the scenic landscapes and detailed vehicles deceive you. Every stage will test your skill, concentration, and patience. 
Along with the unforgiving cliff edges, you'll have to deal with the mechanical failures. Engines will overheat, tires will get punctured, and repairs will eat your precious time. The game is hard, yeah, you got that right, but having a realistic point of view of racing is one of the coolest things about it. With its hair-pullingly accurate rally races and world-famous off-road race cars, it's the best Oculus Rift game with a play score of an 8.74.